Hollywood harbored actresses who urged beholders worldwide to see sublime divinity. From looks stopping traffic to talent that shook the foundations of emerging Hollywood, I'll spotlight 10 muses made to not simply charm audiences but inspire the timeless concept of celluloid glamour itself. Through luminous photography from film's earliest era we'll rediscover vixens, vamps and Venus de Milos made for worshipping, not just on screen but within pop culture's dazzling imagination. Jean Simmons, born Jean Marilyn Simmons on January 31, 1929, in London, England, was an acclaimed British actress who achieved international fame for her versatile performances in film and television. Simmons began her acting career as a teenager, gaining early recognition for her roles in British films. Her breakthrough came with the film, Great Expectations, 1946, where she portrayed the character of Estella. Simmons continued to garner praise for her performances in films like, Hamlet, 1948, opposite Laurence Olivier, and The Blue Lagoon, 1949. In the 1950s, Jean Simmons transitioned to Hollywood and became a leading actress, earning an Academy Award nomination for her role in, Hamlet. She showcased her talent in a variety of genres, including drama, romance, and musicals. Notable films from this period include, Guys and Dolls, 1955, and Spartacus, 1960. Simmons also made significant contributions to television, receiving critical acclaim for her roles in various miniseries and television movies. Known for her beauty, grace, and acting prowess, Jean Simmons was widely admired by both audiences and critics. She received multiple award nominations throughout her career, reflecting her talent and impact on the entertainment industry. Jean Simmons passed away on January 22, 2010, in Santa Monica, California, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and contributions to the world of cinema. Donna Reed Born Donna Bell Mullinger on January 27, 1921, in Denison, Iowa, was an American actress and producer. She rose to prominence in Hollywood during the 1940s and 1950s, earning acclaim for her versatile performances in a variety of film genres. Donna Reed's breakthrough came with her role as Mary Hatch Bailey in the classic film, It's a Wonderful Life, 1946. She won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in from Here to Eternity, 1953. Her talent and charm made her a respected figure in the film industry. In addition to her success in films, Donna Reed achieved notable recognition in television. She starred in the popular sitcom, The Donna Reed Show, which aired from 1958 to 1966. The show earned her a Golden Globe Award for Best TV Star in 1963. Known for her wholesome and girl-next-door image, Donna Reed was admired for her beauty and grace. She maintained a positive public image throughout her career, avoiding major scandals. Donna Reed passed away on January 14, 1986, in Beverly Hills, California. Her legacy endures through her contributions to both the big and small screens, making her a beloved and enduring figure in the history of American entertainment. Ava Gardner, born Ava Lavinia Gardner on December 24, 1922, in Grabtown, North Carolina, was an American actress renowned for her beauty, charisma, and captivating performances. She became one of the leading actresses in Hollywood's golden age. Gardner's breakthrough came with her role in The Killers, 1946, and she continued to build her career with notable films such as Showboat, 1951, Magambo, 1953, and The Barefoot Contessa. 1954. Known for her sultry voice and stunning looks, Gardner was often cast in femme fatale roles. Her personal life also attracted significant attention, particularly her marriages to notable figures like Mickey Rooney, Artie Shaw, and Frank Sinatra. Gardner's relationship with Sinatra, whom she married in 1951, garnered intense media scrutiny and added to her public image. Despite facing ups and downs in her personal life, Ava Gardner's on-screen presence and talent remained consistently admired. She received an Academy Award nomination for her performance in, Magambo. 
Ava Gardner passed away on January 25, 1990, in London, England. Her legacy endures through her contributions to film and her status as a timeless Hollywood icon. Vivian Lee, born Vivian Mary Hartley on November 5, 1913, in Darjeeling, British India, now in India, was a British actress who achieved worldwide acclaim for her extraordinary beauty and exceptional talent. She remains one of the most iconic and celebrated actresses in the history of cinema. Lee gained international fame for her portrayal of Scarlett O'Hara in the epic film, Gone with the Wind, 1939, a role that earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress. Her performance in this classic film solidified her status as a Hollywood legend. In addition to Gone with the Wind, Vivian Lee delivered memorable performances in films such as Waterloo Bridge, 1940, and A Streetcar Named Desire, 1951, in which she reprised her acclaimed stage role as Blanche Dubois. She won her second Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in A Streetcar Named Desire. Lee's acting career was not limited to the big screen. She also had a successful stage career in both London and Broadway. Her stage credits include notable roles in plays like The Mask of Virtue and Caesar and Cleopatra. Off-screen, Vivian Lee faced personal challenges, including struggles with mental health. Despite this, she continued to be admired for her elegance, grace, and undeniable talent. Vivian Lee passed away on July 8, 1967, in London, England leaving behind a legacy as one of the greatest actresses of the 20th century. Francis Farmer, born on September 19, 1913, in Seattle, Washington, was an American actress known for her talent and beauty. She began her acting career in the 1930s, quickly gaining attention for her performances on stage and screen. Despite her early success, Frances Farmer faced personal struggles and mental health issues, which led to a tumultuous life. Her career reached its peak in the mid-1930s with films like Come and Get It, 1936, and Rhythm on the Range, 1936. Frances Farmer's beauty was widely acknowledged, and her distinctive looks garnered admiration from both audiences and critics. However, her career suffered setbacks due to her outspoken nature and clashes with studio executives. The actress faced a highly publicized scandal and legal troubles in the 1940s, leading to a period of institutionalization. Despite her challenges, she made a comeback with a few later film and stage performances. Frances Farmer passed away on August 1, 1970, in Indianapolis, Indiana. The cause of death was esophageal cancer. Her life and career continue to be the subject of interest, reflecting the complex intersection of talent, beauty, and personal struggles. Loretta Young, born Gretchen Young on January 6, 1913, in Salt Lake City, Utah, was an American actress with a career that spanned several decades. She began her acting journey in silent films as a child artist, making a smooth transition into adult roles during the 1930s. Young's charm, talent, and versatility made her a beloved figure in Hollywood. She achieved success in various genres, including romantic comedies, dramas, and musicals. Notable films from her early career include Platinum Blonde, 1931, and The Call of the Wild, 1935. Loretta Young received acclaim for her performances, earning an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in The Farmer's Daughter, 1947. Her on-screen elegance and grace were widely appreciated by audiences. Throughout her career, Loretta Young maintained a positive public image. However, her personal life was marked by controversy, including a scandal involving the birth of her daughter Judy Lewis, which she managed to keep private for many years. Loretta Young continued acting in films and later transitioned to television, starring in the popular series, The Loretta Young Show, 
from 1953 to 1961. She passed away on August 12, 2000, in Santa Monica, California, leaving behind a legacy of talent and enduring contributions to the entertainment industry. Jane Russell, born on June 21, 1921, in Bemidji, Minnesota, was an American actress and sex symbol. She rose to fame in the 1940s and 1950s, known for her voluptuous figure and performances in various films. Starting her career as a model, Jane Russell gained widespread attention when she signed a contract with Howard Hughes, which led to her debut in the Western film, The Outlaw, 1943. The film faced censorship issues due to its provocative content, contributing to Russell's status as a sex symbol. Russell continued her successful career with films like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, 1953, where she starred alongside Marilyn Monroe. Known for her sultry looks and charisma, Russell became one of the popular actresses of her time. Despite her on-screen success, Jane Russell was not involved in major scandals. She maintained a positive public image and garnered admiration for her talent and beauty. After her film career, Russell devoted herself to various philanthropic efforts, including her work with the adoption agency World Adoption International Agency. She passed away on February 28, 2011, in Santa Maria, California, leaving behind a legacy as an iconic figure in Hollywood's golden age. Veronica Lake, born Constance Frances Marie Ackelman on November 14, 1922, in Brooklyn, New York, was an American film actress and sex symbol of the 1940s. She gained fame for her signature hairstyle, known as the Pika Boo Bang, which partly covered one eye. Veronica Lake's career took off with her breakthrough role in the film I Wanted Wings, 1941, and she became one of the most popular actresses of the era. She often collaborated with actor Alan Ladd, and together they starred in successful films such as This Gun for Hire, 1942, and The Glass Key, 1942. Known for her sultry voice and mysterious allure, Veronica Lake was celebrated for her on-screen presence. However, her career faced challenges due to personal issues, including struggles with alcoholism. Despite her initial success, Veronica Lake's popularity declined in the late 1940s, and she faced difficulties securing roles. She continued working in films and on television, but her later career did not reach the same heights as her early years. Veronica Lake passed away on July 7, 1973, in Burlington, Vermont, at the age of 50. Her legacy lives on as a symbol of classic Hollywood glamour, capturing the essence of the bygone era. Kim Novak, born Marilyn Pauline Novak on February 13, 1933, in Chicago, Illinois, is an American retired actress who gained fame in the 1950s and 1960s. Known for her beauty, talent, and versatility, Novak became one of Hollywood's leading actresses. Kim Novak's breakthrough role came with the film, Picnic, 1955, where she starred alongside William Holden. She further solidified her status as a major star with her performances in Pal Joey, 1957, and Alfred Hitchcock's classic thriller, Vertigo, 1958, opposite James Stewart. Novak was praised for her captivating screen presence and ability to portray a wide range of characters. Her on-screen chemistry with leading actors and her distinctive looks contributed to her popularity. Despite her success, Kim Novak faced challenges, including criticism of her acting style and scrutiny of her personal life. She took a hiatus from acting in the 1960s but made a return to the screen in the 1990s. Throughout her career, Novak received several awards and nominations for her contributions to the film industry. 
She was honored with the Golden Globe Cecil B. DeMille Award for her outstanding achievements in entertainment in 1960. Kim Novak's legacy endures as she remains an iconic figure in the history of cinema, celebrated for her talent, beauty, and memorable performances. Natalie Wood, born Natalia Nikolaevna Zakharenko on July 20, 1938, in San Francisco, California, was a talented American actress who began her career as a child actor in the 1940s. She went on to become one of Hollywood's most iconic and beloved actresses. Natalie Wood gained early recognition for her roles in films like Miracle on 34th Street, 1947, and Rebel Without a Cause, 1955, where she starred alongside James Dean. Her performance in the latter earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. In the following years, Wood continued to showcase her acting prowess in films such as Splendor in the Grass, 1961, for which she received another Oscar nomination, and West Side Story, 1961, a musical that further highlighted her versatility. Known for her beauty, charm, and emotional depth, Natalie Wood captivated audiences with her performances. Her career extended into the 1970s, with notable films like Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, 1969, and Love with the Proper Stranger, 1963. Tragically, Natalie Wood's life was cut short. She drowned under mysterious circumstances on November 29, 1981, near Catalina Island, California, while on a boat trip with her husband, Robert Wagner, and actor Christopher Walken. Her death remains a subject of speculation and investigation. Natalie Wood's legacy endures through her timeless contributions to cinema, and she is remembered as a talented and beloved actress who left an indelible mark on the history of Hollywood. Carol Landis, born Frances Lillian Mary Ridst on January 1, 1919, in Fairchild, Wisconsin, USA, was an American actress and singer. Her career in Hollywood began in the 1930s, and she quickly gained recognition for her beauty and talent. Carol Landis starred in a variety of films, including Four Jills in a Jeep, 1944, and Topper Returns, 1941. She was known for her versatility, portraying both comedic and dramatic roles. Landis was appreciated not only for her acting skills but also for her striking beauty, earning her the nickname, The Ping Girl. Despite her success on screen, Carol Landis faced personal challenges, including a series of unsuccessful marriages. She was involved in a scandalous affair with actor Rex Harrison, which garnered significant media attention. Tragically, Carol Landis passed away on July 5, 1948, at the age of 29, in her Pacific Palisades home in Los Angeles, California. Her death was ruled a suicide, and it is believed that personal and career struggles contributed to her untimely demise. Carol Landis's legacy endures through her contributions to the entertainment industry, and she remains remembered for her talent and beauty, though her life was cut short at a young age. Lena Horne, born on June 30, 1917, in Brooklyn, New York, was an American singer, actress, and civil rights activist. She is renowned for breaking racial barriers in the entertainment industry, becoming one of the first African-American performers to achieve success in both music and film. Lena Horne began her career as a singer at the Cotton Club in Harlem and quickly rose to fame with her distinctive voice and captivating stage presence. In the 1940s, she signed a contract with MGM making her one of the first African-American contract players in Hollywood. Despite facing racial discrimination, Horn appeared in films such as Stormy Weather, 1943, and Cabin in the Sky, 1943. Apart from her success in film, Lena Horn was a trailblazing figure in the world of music. She recorded numerous hit songs, including Stormy Weather 
and Love Me or Leave Me, and her contributions to jazz and popular music were widely celebrated. In addition to her entertainment career, Lena Horne was an advocate for civil rights. She actively participated in the civil rights movement and worked alongside prominent figures like Medgar Evers and Martin Luther King Jr. Lena Horne passed away on May 9, 2010, at the age of 92. Her legacy endures not only for her groundbreaking achievements in entertainment but also for her commitment to advancing civil rights and promoting equality. Lauren Bacall, born Betty Joan Persky on September 16, 1924, in New York City, was an American actress and model. She emerged as a Hollywood icon during the golden age of cinema, known for her distinctive voice, sultry looks, and the legendary on-screen partnership with Humphrey Bogart. Lauren Bacall's breakthrough came with her debut film, To Have and Have Not, 1944, where she starred alongside Bogart. The chemistry between the two led to a real-life romance, and they married in 1945. Their partnership extended to several other films, including The Big Sleep, 1946, and Key Largo, 1948. Bacall's acting style was characterized by her husky voice, enigmatic gaze, and a cool, confident demeanor. Her performances in films like Dark Passage, 1947, and How to Marry a Millionaire, 1953, solidified her status as a leading lady. Beyond her film career, Lauren Bacall ventured into theater, earning critical acclaim for her Broadway performances. She received Tony Awards for her roles in Applause, 1970, and Woman of the Year, 1981. Lauren Bacall continued to work in film and television, earning accolades such as an Academy Honorary Award in 2009. She remained an enduring symbol of Hollywood glamour and sophistication until her passing on August 12, 2014, at the age of 89. Eleanor Parker, born on June 26, 1922, in Cedarville, Ohio, was an American actress with a career that spanned over four decades. She was known for her versatility and ability to portray a wide range of characters. Eleanor Parker gained recognition for her performances in various films during the 1940s and 1950s. She received Academy Award nominations for her roles in Caged, 1950, Detective Story, 1951, and Interrupted Melody, 1955. Her portrayal of a paralyzed opera singer in Interrupted Melody showcased her dramatic talents and earned her critical acclaim. One of Eleanor Parker's most iconic roles was as the Baroness Elsa Schroeder in the beloved musical film The Sound of Music, 1965, where she starred alongside Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer. Throughout her career, Parker worked in a variety of genres, including drama, film noir, and comedy. Her talent and dedication to her craft made her a respected figure in the film industry. In her personal life, Eleanor Parker was married four times and had three children. She continued to work in films, television, and theater until the late 1980s. Eleanor Parker passed away on December 9, 2013, at the age of 91, in Palm Springs, California. Her contributions to the entertainment industry and her memorable performances continue to be appreciated by audiences and fellow artists. Zsa Zsa Gabor born on February 6, 1917, in Budapest, Hungary, was a Hungarian-American actress and socialite. She was known for her glamorous lifestyle, witty personality, and numerous marriages. Zsa Zsa Gabor began her acting career in Europe before moving to the United States. She made her Hollywood debut in the 1952 film, Lovely to Look At. 
While her film career was not as prolific as her reputation for socializing, she appeared in movies such as Moulin Rouge, 1952, and Touch of Evil, 1958. Zsa Zsa Gabor's fame extended beyond her acting roles due to her colorful personal life. She was married nine times, including high-profile marriages to hotel magnate Conrad Hilton and actor George Sanders. Her witty one-liners and self-deprecating humor made her a popular guest on talk shows. In addition to her entertainment career, Zsa Zsa Gabor was known for her glamorous and extravagant lifestyle. She became a symbol of Hollywood's golden age and a socialite renowned for her beauty and elegance. Zsa Zsa Gabor passed away on December 18, 2016, at the age of 99, in Los Angeles, California. While her acting legacy may not be as enduring as her reputation for a larger-than-life personality, she remains an iconic figure in the realm of celebrity and glamour. Gloria Mildred Dehaven, born on July 23, 1925, in Los Angeles, California, was an American actress, singer, and entertainer. Her career spanned over six decades, showcasing her talents in both film and television. Gloria Dehaven made her film debut at a young age and gained popularity for her performances in musicals and comedies during the 1940s. Some of her notable films include, Best Foot Forward, 1943, Two Girls and a Sailor, 1944, and Summer Stock, 1950. She was praised for her singing and acting abilities, earning her a reputation as a versatile entertainer. Known for her vibrant personality and girl-next-door charm, Gloria Dehaven was well-received by the public. Her career extended to television, where she appeared in various shows and made guest appearances on popular series. Throughout her life, Gloria Dehaven was recognized for her contributions to the entertainment industry, receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She experienced success on both coasts of the United States, performing in Hollywood films and later in Broadway productions. Gloria Dehaven passed away on July 30, 2016, at the age of 91, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Her legacy lives on through her timeless contributions to the world of entertainment, Jean Harlow, born Harleen Harlow Carpenter on March 3, 1911, in Kansas City, Missouri, was an American actress and sex symbol of the 1930s. She became one of the leading actresses during the golden age of Hollywood, known for her platinum blonde hair and captivating screen presence. Jean Harlow's career took off in the early 1930s, and she quickly gained fame for her roles in films such as Hell's Angels, 1930, and The Public Enemy, 1931. She often played the quintessential blonde bombshell, and her comedic timing and sultry appeal made her a beloved figure among audiences. Despite her professional success, Jean Harlow faced personal challenges, including a tumultuous marriage to Paul Byrne, which ended tragically with his death in 1932. She later married cinematographer Harold Rawson and then actor William Powell. Known for her beauty and sensuality, Jean Harlow was the original platinum blonde and a sex symbol of her era. She starred in iconic films like Dinner at Eight, 1933, and Libel Lady, 1936. Sadly, Jean Harlow's life was cut short when she passed away on June 7, 1937, at the age of 26, due to kidney failure. Her untimely death shocked the industry, but her impact on Hollywood's history and the portrayal of the glamorous blonde bombshell archetype endures. Dorothy Dandridge, born on November 9, 1922, in Cleveland, Ohio, was an American actress, singer, and dancer. She is celebrated for being one of the first African-American actresses to achieve significant success in Hollywood, breaking racial barriers in the 1950s. 
Dorothy Dandridge's career began in the entertainment industry at a young age, as part of a musical group with her sister, Vivian. She later transitioned to acting and gained widespread recognition for her role in the film, Carmen Jones, 1954, earning her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Dandridge's sultry voice and mesmerizing beauty captivated audiences. Despite her talent and success, Dorothy Dandridge faced racial discrimination in Hollywood and struggled to secure diverse and substantive roles. She continued to work in various projects, including Porgy and Bess, 1959, for which she received a Golden Globe nomination. Dorothy Dandridge's personal life was marked by challenges, including two failed marriages and financial difficulties. Tragically, she passed away on September 8, 1965, at the age of 42, due to an overdose of prescription medication. Her death was a significant loss to the entertainment industry, and her legacy lives on as a trailblazer for African-American actresses. Sophia Loren, born Sophia Villani Cicalone on September 20, 1934, in Rome, Italy, is an iconic Italian actress and international film star. With a career spanning several decades, Loren has become one of the most recognized and acclaimed actresses in the world. Sophia Loren's rise to fame began in the 1950s, and she gained international attention with her performances in films such as Two Women, 1960, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Her beauty, talent, and distinctive screen presence made her a sought-after actress in Hollywood and beyond. Known for her roles in Italian and American films, Sofia Loren collaborated with renowned directors such as Vittorio De Sica and Marcello Mastroianni. Some of her notable films include Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, 1963, Marriage Italian Style, 1964, and A Special Day, 1977. Sophia Loren's career achievements extend beyond acting. She has received numerous awards, including an Honorary Academy Award for her contributions to world cinema in 1991. In addition to her success on the big screen, Loren has ventured into business, modeling, and writing. Sophia Loren remains an enduring symbol of Italian cinema and an international icon. Her talent, beauty, and charisma have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Greta Garbo, born Greta Lovisa Gustafsson on September 18, 1905, in Stockholm, Sweden, was a legendary Swedish actress who achieved international acclaim during Hollywood's silent and early sound eras. Known for her enigmatic beauty, intense performances, and reclusive lifestyle, Garbo became an iconic figure in the history of cinema. Garbo's film career took off when she signed with MGM in the United States. She gained immense popularity with silent films such as Flesh and the Devil, 1926, and The Divine Woman, 1928. However, it was with the advent of sound that she truly solidified her status as a major star. Her first talking film, Anna Christie, 1930, showcased her powerful voice and acting prowess. Throughout the 1930s, Greta Garbo starred in a series of successful films, including Grand Hotel, 1932, Anna Karenina, 1935, and Camille, 1936, earning her multiple Academy Award nominations. She was celebrated for her ability to convey complex emotions on screen. After the film, Two-Faced Woman, 1941, Greta Garbo retired from acting at the age of 36. She lived a private life away from the public eye until her passing on April 15, 1990, in New York City. Greta Garbo's legacy endures, and she is remembered as one of the greatest actresses in the history of cinema. Olivia de Havilland, whose full name is Olivia Mary de Havilland, was born on July 1, 1916, in Tokyo, Japan. She was a British-American actress renowned for her elegant beauty and remarkable talent. 
De Havilland's acting career spanned several decades, and she gained prominence for her roles in classic films like Gone with the Wind, 1939, and The Adventures of Robin Hood, 1938. Her beauty was widely acclaimed, and she was often considered one of the most enchanting actresses of her time. Audiences appreciated not only her physical allure but also her ability to bring depth and emotion to her characters. Olivia de Havilland did not find herself entangled in major scandals throughout her career. She was known for her professionalism and dedication to her craft, earning respect in the film industry. The legendary actress passed away on July 26, 2020, at the age of 104, in Paris, France. The cause of her death was reported as natural, marking the end of a remarkable life and career that left an indelible mark on Hollywood's history. Linda Darnell, born Manetta Eloise Darnell on October 16, 1923, in Dallas, Texas, was an American actress known for her striking beauty and talent. She began her acting career at a young age and quickly rose to fame in the 1940s, earning critical acclaim for her performances in films like Hold Back the Dawn, 1941, and Forever Amber, 1947. Darnell's beauty captivated audiences, and she became a sought-after leading lady in Hollywood. Her delicate features and expressive eyes contributed to her allure on the silver screen. While Linda Darnell faced no major scandals during her career, her personal life was marked by some challenges, including three marriages and personal struggles. Despite the ups and downs, she remained a respected and admired actress in the industry. Tragically, Linda Darnell's life was cut short at the age of 41. She died in a house fire on April 10, 1965, in Glenview, Illinois. The fire occurred at a friend's home where she was staying, and the cause of the fire was attributed to a faulty electrical wiring. Her untimely death marked the end of a promising career and left a lasting impact on the film industry. Grace Kelly, born on November 12, 1929, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, was an American actress who later became the Princess of Monaco through her marriage to Prince Rainier III. Grace Kelly began her acting career in the 1950s and quickly gained recognition for her performances in films such as High Noon, 1952, Magambo, 1953, and Dial M for Murder, 1954. She won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in The Country Girl, 1954. In 1956, Grace Kelly married Prince Rainier III of Monaco, becoming Princess Grace of Monaco. This marriage marked the end of her acting career as she devoted herself to her role as princess and her family. Known for her elegance and beauty, Grace Kelly was a style icon of her time. Her contributions to the film industry were significant, and her transition from Hollywood actress to European royalty captured the public's imagination. Tragically, Grace Kelly's life was cut short when she suffered a car accident on September 13, 1982, in Monaco. She passed away on September 14, 1982, at the age of 52. Grace Kelly's legacy endures through her timeless films and her impact on the world of cinema and royalty. Eva Gabor, born on February 11, 1919, in Budapest, Hungary, was a Hungarian-American actress, socialite, and businesswoman. She, along with her sisters Zsa Zsa and Magda, became known for their glamorous lifestyles. Eva Gabor's acting career spanned several decades, and she achieved fame for her role as Lisa Douglas on the popular television sitcom, Green Acres, which aired from 1965 to 1971. Her character, a New York socialite adjusting to rural life, became iconic. In addition to her acting career, 
Eva Gabor was involved in various business ventures. She co-owned a successful wig company, Eva Gabor International, which contributed to her financial success. Eva Gabor's distinctive voice and charm made her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. While her acting career was primarily focused on television, she also appeared in films such as Gigi, 1958, and The Rescuers, 1977. In terms of personal life, Eva Gabor was married five times. She was known for her wit, elegance, and love of animals, particularly her pet dog, a socialite in his own right. Eva Gabor passed away on July 4, 1995, at the age of 76, in Los Angeles, California. Her legacy lives on not only through her entertainment career but also through the impact of the Gabor sisters on Hollywood's social scene. Yvonne de Carlo, born Margaret Yvonne Middleton on September 1, 1922, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, was a Canadian-American actress, singer, and dancer. She gained fame for her versatility in film, television, and stage, with a career that spanned several decades. Yvonne de Carlo's breakthrough came with her role as Sephora, the wife of Moses, in the epic film, The Ten Commandments, 1956. However, she is perhaps best known for her portrayal of Lily Munster in the popular television series, The Munsters, which ran from 1964 to 1966. In addition to her success on television, Yvonne de Carlo had a prolific film career. She appeared in various genres, including musicals, westerns, and comedies. Some of her notable films include, Salome, Where She Danced, 1945, Criss Cross, 1949, and, McClintock. 1963. Yvonne de Carlo was recognized not only for her acting talent but also for her beauty and glamour, making her a popular figure in Hollywood. She earned critical acclaim for her performances in both leading and supporting roles. In her personal life, Yvonne de Carlo was married twice and had two sons. She continued to work in the entertainment industry throughout her career, which included appearances on Broadway. Yvonne de Carlo passed away on January 8, 2007, at the age of 84, in Los Angeles, California. Her legacy endures through her contributions to the entertainment world and her iconic roles in film and television. Joan Bennett, born on February 27, 1910, in Palisades, New Jersey, was an American actress who enjoyed a successful career in film and television. She hailed from a theatrical family and began her acting career at a young age. Joan Bennett's career spanned several decades, with notable performances in films such as Little Women, 1933, and Father of the Bride, 1950. She gained prominence in the 1940s for her work in film noir, including her roles in The Woman in the Window, 1944, and Scarlet Street, 1945, both directed by Fritz Lang. Her beauty and versatility as an actress contributed to her success in various genres, from drama to suspense. Joan Bennett's image evolved over the years, and she adeptly transitioned from ingenue roles to more complex and mature characters. In terms of public perception, Joan Bennett was generally well regarded for her talent and on-screen presence. However, in 1951, her personal life became the center of public attention when her second husband, film producer Walter Wanger, shot her agent in a fit of jealousy. The incident led to a highly publicized trial, but Bennett and Wanger eventually reconciled. Joan Bennett continued to work in films and television, and in the late 1950s and 1960s, she gained a new generation of fans through her role as Elizabeth Collins Stoddard on the gothic soap opera, Dark Shadows. She passed away on December 7, 1990, in Scarsdale, New York, at the age of 80. Joan Bennett's contributions to the entertainment industry, particularly in film noir and television, continue to be appreciated by audiences and critics.
Carol Omart, born on July 3, 1927, in Salt Lake City, Utah, was an American actress known for her contributions to the film industry. While information about her life is relatively limited compared to some other Hollywood figures, she made a notable impact during her career. Carol Omart gained recognition for her roles in various films, particularly in the horror genre. She is perhaps best known for her role as Annabelle Lauren in the classic horror film, House on Haunted Hill, 1959, where she starred alongside Vincent Price. Her beauty and talent were acknowledged in the entertainment industry, with Omart showcasing versatility in her performances. However, she didn't achieve the same level of mainstream success as some of her contemporaries. Carol Omart did not face significant scandals during her career. Despite her relatively short-lived stardom, her presence in the films she participated in left an impression on audiences. Unfortunately, Carol Omart passed away on January 1, 2002, at the age of 74, in Palm Springs, California. The exact cause of her death may not be widely reported. Elizabeth Scott, born Emma Matza on September 29, 1922, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, was an American actress known for her sultry voice and captivating presence on screen. Her birth name, Emma Matza, reflects her Ukrainian heritage. Scott rose to fame in the 1940s and 1950s, making a name for herself in film noir. With her distinctive husky voice and alluring looks, Elizabeth Scott became a femme fatale icon in the noir genre. Some of her notable films include, Dead Reckoning, 1947, Pitfall, 1948, and, Too Late for Tears, 1949. She often portrayed mysterious and complex characters, contributing to the allure of film noir. Elizabeth Scott's beauty was widely acknowledged, and she gained popularity for her unique and enigmatic screen presence. Despite her talent and success, she faced challenges in her personal life, including legal disputes and a fading career with the decline of the film noir genre. Scott did not face significant scandals, but her personal life attracted some controversy. She retired from acting in the 1970s and lived a relatively private life. Elizabeth Scott passed away on January 31, 2015, at the age of 92, in Los Angeles, California. Her legacy remains in the world of film noir, where her contributions continue to be celebrated. Gina Lolo Brigida, born Luigina Lolo Brigida on July 4, 1927, in Subiaco, Italy, is an Italian actress and photojournalist. With a career spanning several decades, she rose to international fame in the 1950s and 1960s as one of Italy's most prominent actresses. Gina Lolo Brigida achieved widespread recognition for her beauty and talent. She appeared in numerous films, including La Donna del Fiume, 1955, Bread, Love, and Dreams, 1953, and Come September, 1961, where she starred alongside Rock Hudson. Her beauty and sensuality made her a popular figure both in Hollywood and internationally. Lolo Brigida's performances were well received, and she became a symbol of glamour in the film industry. Throughout her career, Gina Lolo Brigida did not face major scandals. She was known for her professionalism and dedication to her craft. In addition to her acting career, she gained acclaim as a photojournalist, capturing images of celebrities and cultural figures. Dame Elizabeth Taylor born on February 27, 1932, in London, England, was a British-American actress and one of the most iconic and celebrated figures in Hollywood history. She had a career that spanned over six decades and is often regarded as one of the greatest actresses of all time. 
Elizabeth Taylor began her acting career as a child, gaining recognition for her role in National Velvet, 1944. As she transitioned into adulthood, Taylor became known for her beauty, talent, and captivating performances. Some of her most notable films include A Place in the Sun, 1951, Giant, 1956, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, 1958, and Cleopatra, 1963. She won the Academy Award for Best Actress twice, first for her role in Butterfield 8 Inches, 1960, and later for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, 1966. Taylor's personal life also attracted significant attention, with her multiple marriages, including two to actor Richard Burton, generating considerable public interest. Beyond her acting career, Elizabeth Taylor was renowned for her humanitarian efforts, particularly in raising awareness and funds for HIV, AIDS research and treatment. She co-founded the American Foundation for AIDS Research, AMFAR, and the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. Elizabeth Taylor received numerous awards and honors throughout her life, including the Presidential Citizens Medal and the Jean Hersholt Humanitarian Award. She was made a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 2000. Elizabeth Taylor passed away on March 23, 2011, at the age of 79, in Los Angeles, California. Her legacy endures not only for her remarkable contributions to cinema but also for her philanthropic work and enduring status as a cultural icon. Susan Hayward, born Edith Morenner on June 30, 1917 in Brooklyn, New York, was an acclaimed American actress lauded for her vivid red hair and dynamic portrayals of resilient women facing life's struggles. Known initially for playing femme fatales, Hayward rose to prominence after Oscar-nominated turns in films like Smash Up and My Foolish Heart. Her definitive role came as death row inmate Barbara Graham in I Want to Live. 1958, a raw performance that finally won her the Academy Award for Best Actress. While often typecast as tormented heroines, Hayward branched out across genres demonstrating strong dramatic range from alcoholism in All Cry Tomorrow, 1955. To the horrors of Alzheimer's in Isadora, 1968. Outwardly glamorous, Hayward endured failed marriages and miscarriages privately before adopting two sons as a single working mother. After battling several illnesses, she died from brain cancer in 1975 at age 57, honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her renowned portrayals of complex, real-life women on screen. Gloria Graham, born Gloria Hallward on November 28, 1923 in Los Angeles, California, was an American stage and screen actress best known as an iconic film noir star and sex symbol of the 1940s and 1950s. After small roles, Graham rose to prominence for her work in noir classics like Crossfire, 1947, for which she won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, plus In a Lonely Place, 1950, and The Bad and the Beautiful, 1952. Renowned for her feline allure, heavy-lidded eyes and sultry voice, Graham specialized in portraying irresistible yet dangerous temptresses on screen. However, Graham's own love life was as tumultuous as her temptress persona with four failed marriages including one to director Nicholas Ray and scandalous affairs with much younger men late in life. By the 1960s, a changing Hollywood landscape with less character roles reduced her star status. Nonetheless, Graham left an indelible legacy as film noir's quintessential femme fatale representing the genre's dark glamour and moral ambiguity. She died at age 57 due to complications from breast cancer on October 5, 1981. Hedy Lamarr, born Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler on November 9, 1914 in Vienna, Austria, was an Austrian-American actress hailed as one of MGM's most glamorous stars of the 1940s while also revered for her groundbreaking role as an inventor pioneering modern wireless communications technology. Originally bursting onto the Hollywood scene with her daring nude debut in the Czech film Ecstasy, 1932, 
Lamar enchanted cinema audiences as an ethereal screen goddess with her exotic European beauty and dramatic flair in hits like Algiers, 1938, and Boomtown, 1940. Though often typecast as a seductress, the multi-talented Lamar later worked on the side to mathematically co-develop what would become the basis for spread spectrum technology, visionary scientific work aiding the Allies in World War II efforts. After earning acclaim for Future Females, 1939, the first technologically themed writing by a Hollywood actress, she withdrew from the spotlight in subsequent years settling down as a suburban wife and mother before her death in 2000 aged 85. Jean Tierney was born on November 19, 1920, in Brooklyn, New York. She was an American actress known for her captivating beauty and talent. Tierney's acting career flourished in the 1940s and 1950s. She starred in notable films such as, Laura, 1944, Leave Her to Heaven, 1945, and, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, 1947. Her performances were praised for their grace, elegance, and emotional depth. Jean Tierney was widely regarded as a stunningly beautiful actress. Her striking features, including her expressive eyes and classic Hollywood glamour, captivated audiences worldwide. Although she faced personal challenges, Jean Tierney did not become embroiled in any major scandals during her career. She maintained a professional reputation and focused on her craft. Tragically, Jean Tierney experienced personal hardships and suffered from mental health issues. In the early 1950s, she contracted German measles during pregnancy, which resulted in her daughter being born with severe birth defects. This event deeply affected Tierney's life and career. She passed away on November 6, 1991, at the age of 70. Ginger Rogers, born Virginia Catherine McMath on July 16, 1911 in Independence, Missouri, was an iconic American actress, singer and dancer recognized as Hollywood's top leading lady in the 1930s and 40s especially renowned for her legendary dance partnership with Fred Astaire. Known for her vivacious energy, comedic flair and glamorous style, Rogers first rose to fame in Broadway shows and movie musicals like 42nd Street, 1933, often stealing scenes. However, it was alongside a stare that she achieved immortality in sparkling RKO pictures like Top Hat, 1935, and Swing Time, 1936, that revolutionized the genre with their graceful choreography and rare on-screen chemistry. Though married and divorced five times, Rogers later succeeded in grittier dramatic roles winning the Best Actress Oscar for Kitty Foyle, 1940. By the 1960s, Rogers had become an American institution honored with the Cecil B. DeMille Award. After less activity in later years, she died from heart disease at age 83 in 1995 forever remembered among classic Hollywood's most legendary icons as the queen of dance on screen whose beauty and talent enchanted the world. Audrey Hepburn, born Audrey Kathleen Rustin on May 4, 1929 in Ixelles, Brussels, Belgium, was a beloved Academy Award-winning actress and humanitarian icon regarded as one of old Hollywood's most elegant style stars. Making her Hollywood debut in Roman Holiday, 1953, Hepburn enchanted with her graceful beauty, poise and warmth earning her an Oscar for the role. Starring in a string of 1950s classics like Sabrina and Breakfast at Tiffany's that highlighted her versatility, Hepburn became one of few stars awarded Emmy, Grammy, Oscar and Tony Awards. While she became a timeless beauty ideal worshipped for her swan-like neck and doe eyes, Hepburn also demonstrated remarkable depth on screen. Later in life, Hepburn devoted herself tirelessly to UNICEF and children's aid programs in impoverished nations enhancing her reputation as an artistic talent dedicated towards compassionate civic duty. After withdrawing from acting in her final years, 
Hepburn passed away from cancer at 63 in 1993 leading behind an unparalleled Hollywood legacy defined by her benevolent spirit and altruistic accomplishments just as much as her trend-setting style and delicate magnetism on camera. Dorothy L'Amour, born Mary Lita Dorothy Slayton on December 10, 1914 in New Orleans, Louisiana, was an American actress and singer renowned as an iconic screen legend of Hollywood's golden age musicals and comedies. With her trademark sarong clothes showcasing her stunning figure, L'Amour shot to fame through popular road adventure comedies like Road to Singapore, 1940, alongside comedy duo Bing Crosby and Bob Hope. A glamorous pinup star, she encapsulated the era's exotic sexuality and carefree vivaciousness through her trademark sex appeal and girl-next-door charm. Though married three times, L'Amour found lasting love and a successful family life outside her public persona's adventuresome spirit. By the 1960s, however, musical tastes had changed causing her career to decline. After years working the dinner theater circuit, the legendary actress died peacefully on September 22, 1996 at age 81 following a brief illness, forever memorialized on the Hollywood Walk of Fame as one of Tinseltown's most iconic sex symbols. Marlene Dietrich, born Marie Magdalene Dietrich on December 27, 1901 in Berlin, Germany, was a legendary actress and singer whose glamorous style and sexual allure made her an enduring icon of Hollywood's golden age. Making her breakthrough in the classic film The Blue Angel, 1930, Dietrich captivated with her deep voice, lithe beauty and cosmopolitan feminine mystique in hits like Shanghai Express, 1932, and Desire, 1936. A symbol of feminine strength and wartime patriotism, she toured extensively selling war bonds though faced scrutiny for her humanitarian efforts aiding marginalized groups later in life. Ever progressive and openly bisexual, Dietrich caused minor scandals through her fluid love life, rejection of domesticity and gender-bending personal style. Retiring by the late 70s, the reclusive star gave her last interview revealing a softer, more vulnerable side decades after her initial stardom. On May 6, 1992 at age 90, the immortal screen goddess died in Paris, honored eternally as one of cinema's most legendary talents whose striking looks and singular charm transcended convention. Betty Davis, born Ruth Elizabeth Davis on April 5, 1908 in Lowell, Massachusetts, was a legendary actress acclaimed for her creativity, versatility and standout performances in roles often unglamorous or villainous. Establishing herself as a new kind of leading lady through films like Of Human Bondage, 1934, and Jezebel, 1938, which won her first Best Actress Oscar, Davis became renowned for her willingness to portray multifaceted women with grit. Signature roles in classics like All About Eve, 1950, and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, 1962, further revealed her acting range and cemented her iconic Hollywood status. Though struggling in several failed marriages and relationships with alleged domestic abuse, Davis adopted multiple children and advocated strongly for women's rights. Towards the end while battling breast cancer, she became the first woman to receive AFI's Lifetime Achievement Award before her death at 81 in 1989. With over 100 acting credits to her name, Betty Davis remains an eminent cinematic icon revered for her commitment to complex, progressive female characters and timelessly bold on-screen presence.
Carol Lombard, born Jane Alice Peters on October 6, 1908 in Fort Wayne, Indiana, was an acclaimed comedic film star recognized as a legendary actress defining Hollywood's golden age. Initially typecast in provocative sexual roles, Lombard displayed keen timing and flair as a gifted screwball comedian in classics like 20th Century, 1934, and My Man Godfrey, 1936. On screen she projected refreshing wit, intelligence and confidence complementing her legendary beauty, dubbed the profane angel for her striking yet earthy glamour. By the late 1930s, Lombard achieved superstardom and equal pay demonstrating progressive feminist ideals ahead of her time. Tragically, at the peak of her fame headlining World War II bond rallies, she died in a plane crash at 33 rushing home after a tour to be with husband Clark Gable. Gone far too soon, Lombard received a posthumous Oscar and left an indelible imprint as one of Hollywood's most vibrant luminaries, representing the sparkling spirit of the stars at cinema's pinnacle artistic moment. Diane Keaton, born Diane Hall on January 5, 1946, in Los Angeles, California, is an American actress, film director, and producer. She is known for her distinctive style, versatile acting, and collaborations with renowned filmmakers. Diane Keaton gained widespread recognition and won an Academy Award for her role as Annie Hall in Woody Allen's Annie Hall, 1977. Her work with Allen continued in films like Manhattan, 1979, and Husbands and Wives, 1992. Apart from her association with Woody Allen, Diane Keaton has had a successful career in various genres. She starred in the highly popular The Godfather trilogy, 1972-1990, Reds, 1981, and The First Wives Club, 1996, showcasing her versatility as an actress. In addition to acting, Diane Keaton has directed films, including Heaven, 1987, and Unstrung Heroes, 1995. Her contributions to the film industry have earned her numerous awards and accolades. Diane Keaton's unique fashion sense, talent, and longevity in the industry have made her an enduring and influential figure in Hollywood. Jacqueline Bissett, born Winifred Jacqueline Fraser Bissett on September 13, 1944, in Weybridge, Surrey, England, is a British actress known for her elegance, talent, and enduring presence in the film industry. Jacqueline Bissett's career has spanned several decades, and she has appeared in a wide range of films and television productions. She gained early recognition for her role in the film Bullet, 1968, alongside Steve McQueen. Her notable works also include Airport, 1970, Day for Night, 1973, and Murder on the Orient Express, 1974. Throughout her career, Jacqueline Bissett has been praised for her beauty and acting prowess. She received a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the TV miniseries Joan of Arc, 1999. In addition to her acting career, Jacqueline Bissett has been involved in various humanitarian and philanthropic efforts. She continues to be active in the entertainment industry, demonstrating her versatility and enduring appeal. Jane Fonda Born Lady Jane Seymour Fonda on December 21, 1937, in New York City, is an American actress, political activist, and fitness guru. She comes from a renowned acting family and has had a prolific career in the entertainment industry. Jane Fonda rose to fame in the 1960s and became one of the most prominent actresses of her generation. She achieved critical acclaim and won two Academy Awards for Best Actress, the first for her role in Clute, 1971 and the second for Coming Home, 1978. Her filmography also includes notable works such as Barbarella, 1968, They Shoot Horses, Don't They, 1969, and On Golden Pond, 1981. 
Beyond acting, Fonda is recognized for her activism. She became a prominent anti-Vietnam War protester and later engaged in political and environmental advocacy. In the 1980s, she revolutionized the fitness industry with her workout videos. Fonda continues to be active in both the entertainment world and activism, advocating for causes related to women's rights, environmental issues, and social justice. Jane Fonda's enduring influence, talent, and commitment to social and political causes have left an indelible mark on American culture. Catherine Deneuve, born Catherine Fabienne d'Orléac on October 22, 1943, in Paris, 